Right, hey everyone, we're in a car park. We're going to see my new car today. Yeah, so we're in Bury St Edmunds today because um, Octopus Electric Vehicles are here and um, that's who I'm getting my new car with. Um, and the main reason for that is because I am now taking part in the uh, trial of something called Power Loop. And Power Loop is where um, your car can charge back energy to the grid um, to help balance out the uh, electricity grid. So that's what um, uh, that's all about. What it does mean is uh, I am going to have a Nissan Leaf. Nissan Leaf is the only uh, car um, on the market which can really support this type of trial. So. Um, that's what that's all about, so we're just going to actually see the car, maybe even speak to some of the guys. So this is it, um, my new car, our new car. Um, it's the 40 kilowatt Nissan Leaf N connector as part of the Octopus uh, electric vehicles trial of Powerloop. Powerloop being the vehicle to grid uh, trial that Octopus uh, Energy, uh, Octopus electric vehicles are doing. So um, why have I gone for a Nissan Leaf? Well, I didn't really have a choice. If I wanted to be part of this trial, then this is the car. Now, I did initially ask about the larger battery version, but um, the availability of those wasn't great. So what I've done is I've gone for a two year lease on a 40 kilowatt uh, hour N connector. Now these cars have got Chadamo, they've got a faster charging rate than the Zoe, so hopefully that charging rate will give us, um, you know, a decent amount of range um, with a limited uh, time on the stopover. So, you know, if we do need to stop and charge, it will charge at about twice as fast as our, as our Zoe. So there is a little bit of a, of a penalty that we're paying there potentially because um, if we do do that, you know, one long drive in a year then it might take us a little bit longer but actually um, for every day wise every, you know I think this is a much better option for us and um, we're going to want to drive this car we're going to want to drive the Zoe so that's great um, I think um, you know being able to take part in the trial and the uh, vehicle to grid element is you know I'm a, I'm a bit of a gadget geek so anything like that I'm really, really interested in. And I also hope that um, you, you know, my subscribers, um, and at this point, this point I'll say subscribe, you know, because, um, you know, now this is gonna be a, an ongoing kind of story now, developing about how vehicle to grid, uh, are good and bad, you know, I'm not gonna pull my punches on it. You know, if we get some problems, then I'll be sure to let you all know. But you know, there's 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 been a few vehicle to grid things going on. Um, Ovo have done it previously. So when I saw that there was the option to do this, um, then I was like all up for it. Now, I've had a talk to uh, the guys here on the stand for Octopus Electric Vehicles. Now they didn't, they weren't sure if they were allowed to kind of be on camera. So um, I've got to respect that, obviously. Um, but I know that the, the Leaf that I've got has, has already been purchased by them, if you like. Um, it was a limited um, number in this first kind of tranche of the trial but you can still sign up um, for it if you're interested in in vehicle to grid now the way i'm told that it will work is that you'll be able to set preferences um, so you'll be able to have an app and you'll be able to set preferences to how much charge you'd like in the car when you kind of wake up in the morning now the benefit of vehicle to grid for you in terms of money is that you get money off your lease 
uh, every month if you plug the car in for a certain number of charge cycles uh, between you know certain times so say for example I'm, I'm just making these numbers up because I don't have them in front of me um, but uh, actually maybe I do have them in front of me look there's a pamphlet um, but um, you save 30 pounds a month um, basically you have to complete 12 charge cycles um, within the month so that's it that is plugging it in before 6 p.m and keeping it plugged in before 5 a.m so actually if you're doing things um you know if you're kind of if, if that's what you normally do anyway which 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 it kind of is then uh you know this is uh this is not going to be a problem for you to to actually kind of get 30 pounds a month back on 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 the lease um so for me this is two years um i think if this hadn't have come along i'd have I'd had a really difficult time getting another electric car, uh, not just because of the money side of it, but because of the choice and the time frame. So if I bought a Kia e Nero, I probably wouldn't get it for another 12 months. So it was a real uh, problem trying to find a car and a car with availability. So um, uh, these cars are immediately available. Um, I'm not sure that I'd want to own a Nissan Leaf um, anyway, because I've been kind of put off by their battery technology and things like that so this is kind of a good option because I can benefit from another electric car for another two years and then hopefully in two years time there'll be some more choice out there um, and in the meantime I get to show you all what you know vehicle to grid um, is is all about what it does all the charges perhaps some of the challenges around it um, uh, some of the unexpected things um, it's already creating questions in my mind about how the charger is going to work because the vehicle to grid uses CHAdeMO, not Type 2, which means we need another charger on the house. So are we going to be able to have the two chargers simultaneously? Uh, you know, is that going to require an uplift of the power uh, set up in uh, the house? Lots and lots of questions. And these are all kind of going to be hopefully answered over the next few weeks and months as we go through this power loop. Um, trial. Uh, Octopus electric vehicles are kind of doing the rounds. Um, uh, you know, we're in various Nevins today, but they've been in else elsewhere. So perhaps check out where they're going to be and, um, you know, come down and have a look at some of the cars, have a talk to the lovely people here. Um, uh, you know, not associated with Octopus in any way. I am a paying customer. So, um, you know, they are, um, you know, I think they're doing great stuff. I think they're really innovative. Um, I've pulled them up before before not being perfect, but actually generally they're doing great work. Um, but yeah, I am a paying customer. I'm getting no special uh, favors for, for, for any of this. Um, so there you go. So I hope you are going to enjoy the next you know year with me on this journey or next couple of years uh, with me on this journey. If you want to stay a part of that, then, you know, like and subscribe and hit the bell and all that jazz. Um, but for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Oh. <laughs> I got blasted. <laughs>